Steam day, rub my food. Hey, that's not for the pastures. <laughs> Linda, darling! Yes, Hubert? Did you open the oven while picking my cookies? Well, of course, Hubert. I had to make sure they weren't burnt. Why, Linda, that is simply barbaric and American. Hubert, I've had the Americans have been quite away from themselves in the cooking industry. Recently, I've heard of this chef named Guy Fury. He has a bit of a... Ice tips? Heard of him before. Rubbish! This is terrible. I don't care about his drive-ins or drive throughs Make a tumult. <laughs> Period. Medicare. Hubert, I don't believe a word you're saying. I don't think opening the oven edits it at all. Stephen, fetch my electronical device. Thank you, sir. Linda, mm, darling, take a look. Oh. baking cookies, <coughs> it will affect the cookies rise, spread, and general appearance. But first you'll need to buy five rolls of Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie dough. And then you'll open the package and lay it out on a cutting board. After that, you'll take the roll and you'll cut a pieces from it and make sure that they're each one ounce by putting it on the measuring scale. Next, we'll take our one ounce piece of cookie dough, roll it into a neat ball, and place it on the parchment paper. They should be placed in rows by three by four. Next, we'll take our cookie dough and place it in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, take the cookies out of the oven and put them on a surface nearby. Let them sit for one minute and then... Take a standard ruler and measure in the metric unit both the rise and the spread of the cookie. Next, you, you should be sure to record your data. We recorded the appearance of the cookie, the spread of the cookie, the rise of the cookie, in the minute increments. It's a piece of cake, it's a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy, never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy if you do the cooking by the book. Okay. So this is group one of the cookies where we will be opening the oven every five minutes for 20 seconds to replicate how some bakers open their oven to check if their cookies are burnt. So we will keep it again for 12 minutes at 350 degrees at convection bake. And then we will measure the rise and spread. It's a piece of cake, bake a pretty cake. Group two, where we'll be putting the our cookies in the oven for 12 minutes at 350 degrees, and we'll be opening them every three minutes for 20 seconds. Finally, it's time to make a cake. <laughs> Making food is just like science with tools that blend and base, and every fun appliance gives the food a different taste. It's a piece of cake. This is group three, where we will be opening the oven every two minutes for 20 seconds to check on the cookies. We'll be putting them in for the same 12 minutes. For the control group, where we did not open the oven at all, the cookies rise a total of one centimeter. They spread a total of eight centimeters, and we described it as flat, cracked, and dark. So for group one, where we open the oven every five minutes, the rise of the cookie was six millimeters, the spread of the cookie was 7.5 millimeters, and the appearance was pale and flat. For group two, when we open the oven every three minutes, the rise of the cookie was three millimeters, the spread of the cookie was nine centimeters, and the overall appearance was pale. 
When we opened the oven every two minutes, the rise of the cookie was 2.5 millimeters, the spread of the cookie was 8 centimeters, and the appearance was pale and thin. So we learned that when you open the oven while cooking, your cookies become more progressively thinner and pale. This may be a direct result in the rapid drop of temperature that happens when you open the oven door. This means that the baking powder inside the cookies doesn't have time to decompose fully, and it doesn't make as many bubbles, and it will be more pale and thin. In conclusion, our results supported our hypothesis.